Good afternoon po, sir. Uh, how about the others? Nung, uh, are you just log in or present tayo? Present po, sir. Present. Okay. So today, no, uh, I'll be discussing a series of uh, characteristics of good research instrument. Pero bago yun, uh, ipapresent ko muna yung PowerPoint presentation that was already shown last time. Let me just open it. Actually, ito yung kailangan nating gawin. So, hindi ko muna i-check yung previous assignment natin kasi ito na yung kailangan kong makita. Uh, so, we already have finished prelim. Uh, in this case, no, medyo kailangan na natin i-work out to. Now, today I'll be discussing ano yung mga ito. No? Ano yung mga to. So, this are the outline title proposal kasi um, Ito yung parang requirement natin in your title proposal. So, uh, as soon as uh, possible, let me just accept this. As soon as time possible, di ba, uh, we are preparing it so that uh, if time comes that you have to submit your title proposal, it's already ready. No? All you have to do is to eliminate what are not not possible and those are possible that you could present in your title proposal no so etong mga to this one hindi muna natin to kailangan so this one hindi hindi natin kailangan to so those highlighted is hindi natin kailangan muna okay then the rest are kailangan no so introduction problem statement goal objective target user. Itong mga to is kailangan kong makita na. Okay? Uh -huh. Let me highlight this. Okay. And then, this this one also. Ayan. Kailangan na rin. And then, actually, lahat na sila kailangan. No? Okay? So, papakita ko sa inyo uh, how how are this being composed no paano sila nakokompose paano sila ginagawa okay so i have here let, let's let's go first with the introduction okay. ito no di ba um as as you are aware uh in in one proposal you have to prepare three okay ibig sabihin sa isang title proposal even you are a group you have to prepare three no now these activities are individual okay etong activity na gagawin natin is individual meaning there's no grouping yet kasi wala pa naman kayong ipo-produce na kahit na ano Okay? So, kaya ito is individual. Now, yung introduction, ano ba yung content niya? So, tignan natin tong uh, PowerPoint natin for introduction. 
So introduction merely is the introduction of of uh, your proposal, no? So dito lalabas kung it's it's a glimpse of how are you going to do your animation? Would it be 2D? Would it be 3D? No? So ito, uh, example, at the early age of animation, it was done by hand and all the frames in animation had to be drawn on a piece of paper. Yung mga ganong introduction ba? You may see different introduction, pero you are not allowed to copy and paste. No? Um, this is uh, the thought that I am currently teaching with your fourth year, your seniors. Eh, sabi ko, if you are uh, having difficulty in composing your introduction or your paragraph, you do it in Tagalog muna. And then after that, after you do it in Tagalog, uh, sentence by sentence, you convert it into English. And then after that, you find a software that would correct your grammar and your spelling. Microsoft Word alone is not enough. Okay? Uh, maybe if you are browsing in YouTube, makikita nyo doon, there are a lot of uh, online free, no? Na would allow you to grammar and spelling correct. No? Uh, example of which is Grammarly. Narinig nyo naman siguro si Grammarly, no? Uh, online yon. all you have to do is to just copy and paste what you have did and then automatic, uh, not automatic, no? It would evaluate whether your grammar is correct. If not, it would underline green and red, just like spelling checker and corrector. Once underlined, you have the option to do the correction. Okay? So, yun siya. So, eto, no, bibigyan ko kayo ng copy na ito. So, yan, no, at early age, yan, tapos, yan, binanggit niya dito na 3D animation yung, yung gagawin niya. Okay? So, yan, ganun yung introduction. So, uh, anyway, your introduction would be checked by me. Okay? So, chachikan ko naman yung introduction natin. So, from there, magko-comment ako. And then, yun, no? Uh, let me see whether I could show you <clears throat> the introduction of the different groups. Let's say, tignan natin tong introduction ng group 1. This is a work in progress, no? Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi pa tapos ito, no? Still, they, they have, they have to do, no? Ayan, no? Um, kaya ako to pinapakita sa inyo is for you to have a reference kasi pangit naman kung wala tayong reference, no? So, kagaya na ito, yung chapter 1 nila kasi, ang ano nila is uh, a campaign or an awareness about animal cruelty. So, doon nag-base nag, nag yung introduction nila. Okay? Now, siguro, para hindi masyadong, ano, uh, ganun din yung gawin nyo. Okay? Para hindi na kayo mag, masyadong mag-isip what would be your introduction. You start with your topic. Okay? Tapos, okay, let's say for example, you start with your topic here for your first paragraph, then on your second paragraph, the technicalities of your topic, okay? Yung ganon. Okay, let's say for example, um, ito, kagaya na ito, animal cruelty cases make headlines around the world every day. So, the hoarder of sick and dying animals or starving dog is tied up outside according to, yan, meron siyang source. Okay? So, parang nagpapalabas siya ng statistics. Okay? Now, if you are going to stick, di ba? Sinabi ko nga sa inyo, hindi lang naman short story yung option nyo. Pwedeng advertisement, pwedeng game, 
either of the either of which pwede uh, commercials okay infomercials uh edutainment no ito yung education and entertainment okay so edutainment yung tawag nila so lahat yon pwede okay lahat yon pwede nating insert dito okay so yan no so and then Sana Okay, so tapos na tayo sa introduction. No problem statement tayo. Okay, so I saw problem statement natin before, no? So those problem statements states general. Now this time, ang i-state natin na problem statement dito is specific na. Okay, specific na and it is narrative. Yung ginawa kasi natin na problem statement before, it is bulleted no uh, tapos uh, though they are specific pero uh, the problems that you have handed before parang hindi sila masasagot ni ng 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 capstone na gagawin natin so it's 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 really a research and also kasi we have to we have to be familiar that this this type of uh, uh, proposals should go along with your uh, output. No, this is not just merely research, pero you have a digital output, such uh, such uh, uh, commercial, no, infomercial, entertainment, game, no, yung mga ganon. Ito yung mga output na sinasabi ko. Okay, so kasama sila. Now let's see some of the problem statement that we have. Okay, so let's move on with the problem statement. Bakit wala yung problem statement? Yeah, this one. Okay. So look at let's focus on the problem statement here alone, no? Okay? So on your problem statement, you'll see in 3D animation development, the most critical problem is to create a good character which could attract user attention. So next state na siya dun ng isang problem statement, no? So the character being developed should suitable with the storyline and could bring the message of the story. The weakness in the character design can cause story will not be understandable and the message of the story will not be reached by the end user. So, mga ganad. Okay? Now, let's see. No? Tignan natin uh, kung ano naman in, in, in application dun sa ginawa nung nagka-capstone 2. No? Natin. So, the same template are provided. Ganun, ganun pa rin. No? So, yan. Uh, kasi ito, uh, yung problem statement nila would vary, no? would, would, would encapsulate dun sa animal cruelty. So, the pain, the sadness, the feelings animals have are all the same feelings that human have when they are treated with cruelty. Neglect, abuse. So, animal cruelty is terrible. So, yan, meron, meron din siyang, uh, it's like meron pa rin siyang quote and quote dun. Okay, so if if you could see the discussion about this is dine discuss niya on on this narrative is uh, what is animal cruelty? Okay, so yun yung yun yung parang tina target niya dito. Uh, yeah, no, meron siyang statistics. However, the animal abuse statistics to twenty reveal that one nine. 1,920 animals abuse cases presented by media every year. So, yan. So, tapos, ito, most of us do not know the importance of animals. Yan, no? Yan. So, ito yung parang uh, nilagay niyang problem dyan. No? So, most of us do not know the importance of animals. And forget the, that they have feelings too. 
Tapos yung animal cruelty nga, cruelty, neglect, and abuse, no? So, yan. Instead of having parang ang gagawin mo dito is nakabulleted, hindi siya ganun. Kasi uh, hindi system yung pinopropose natin. It's, it's, it's parang yung thought nung, nung, nung ipoproduce natin. Okay? So, what's next? The goal. Ayan. The goal, no? So, let's see. Ayan. So, in here, in, my, in, in the example, so the goal of 3D animation project is to develop 3D animation short stories that have more moral value and can be emotionally entertaining whilst educating people, especially children. So the entire story is brought to audience in a simple 3D animation story titled The Worst Day in My Life. Okay? So, yan siya. So you're just going to state ano yung goal mo. So you could state, uh, ito kasi parang ang, 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 ang goal nung document na to is just, just to entertain. No? Emotionally entertaining. So, when we say emotionally entertaining, maybe ang target na itong, nung ano na to is those are, those are, let's say, sad, no? Yung mga stress, no? So, they will feel uh, uh, entertained, no? Pagka, pagka pinanood nila to, no? That could be, that could be the author's goal or the, or the researcher's goal, no? Now, Going back here, ito naman. Okay, tingnan natin naman yung goal nila dito. Okay? So here, stating the goal dun sa, sa pagde-develop nila ng ASPIN uh, is uh, the goal is to study, is to create 2D animated film that will put light and awareness on discrimination and maltreatment Okay, that as pin or as of Pinoy experience, which is commonly neglected. So, yan yung pinaka goal niya. Okay, to put light and awareness, sabi niya. Okay, kasi you could not just put, ano eh, uh, to put justice, ganon, nakabulat, hindi ganon. No? It, sh it should be kasi, kasi ang course nyo is EMC. It's, it's like parang lagi kayo nagkukwento. Kaya laging naka-narrative. Just like this, ay yung yung template natin. So, uh, if you wish, if you wish to see different documentation, medyo malayo kapag ang titig na yung documentation is yung mga documentation provided by the IT people. Hindi sila, ay medyo malayo. Ay kasi your template is uh, was customized just just for BSEMC. Okay, kaya kung mapapansin nyo, eh, anytime you, 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 you go on another chapter, it's like you are always telling a story. Okay. So, yan, no? So, light and awareness. Okay, educate audience, no? Regarding animal cruelty. So, yan. Yan yung ano niya. So, in addition, so this, this project, researcher can improve their skills. Yan. So, ito is stating the goal on uh, yung campaign nung nung ano niya nung nung pinoproduce nilang uh, short story so yung campaign ano ba yung goal nun tapos ano yung ano yung goal nila what would be their goal on their end yung sa mga uh, uh, researchers yung sa project developers ano yung goal nila so can improve their skills in creating and developing this 2D animated film no Oh yeah, no? nilagay nila stepping stone in moving forward in creating big projects in the future, no? So uh, they parang they are considering this as their ground of training in creating big projects, no? So in addition this study also develops cooperation between the researchers. So inano rin nila yung camaraderie no? as a group and with there might be a possibility that this uh, Aspin Academy and POS will use the project to at least campaign for animal cruelty. Kasi ang main character nila dito are dogs. 
Okay? Dogs kasi yung ano nila dito. Though ang alam ko ang paws would would also do uh, rescue cats and dogs yata. Okay? So, yan. Oo. Mm-hmm. Let's move on. Moving forward. Madami-dami itong mga gagawin nyo. Now comes objective. Objective. Mm. So, let's see. Yan. So, in here, stated on our example, in developing this 3D animation, there are some objectives that would like to be achieved. So, yeah, no? So, initemize lang naman yung A and B. So, to develop an interesting 3D animation which may attract especially children. Now, in here, pwede mong, pwede mong ilagay din to. Then, uh, you determine yung age age group. No? Kung ano. Uh, kung halimbawa, yung, yung pinoproduce nating short film, would it be intended only for women, for men? Both, no, for LGBTQ, uh, for children's one to five, for children's five to ten. No, but all it's mga coronavirus positive, coronavirus survivor, no. So you you specify, okay? Tapos, ito, yun, to entertain, no. Beside promoting, yung mga ganon. Ay so tignan natin yung nilagay nila dito ng objective. Yan. Ito ang problema dito pala sa pinagawa nilang, uh, ginawa nilang objective. Marami akong pinakorrect. Marami akong correction sa kanila. No? So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, this is still work in progress. So, nilagay nila dito. So, general objective is to create 2D animated film, sabi nila. So, sabi ko, they are not creating film. They are creating short story. So, film and short story are different. So, sabi ko, do not use the word film. Okay, so, uh, uh, next. That is comprehensible to all audience and focuses on animal cruelty, most especially dogs. So, that. Uh, all audience, meaning, so, lahat, no? For all ages, yung sinabi niya dyan. So, ang specific objectives nila is to provide an asset that was inspired in the Philippines and its culture. Sabi ko, if they are going to use the word assets, okay, some people would not understand this. Kasi if we are referring to assets, uh, in general, they might think of assets, those are owned, no? uh, convertible to cash. Pero sabi ko, they, they have to find another word that would describe assets in, 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 general, in general term. Okay, maybe uh, they could they could say uh, to provide uh, different uh, character designs, ganon, no? uh, character designs that was in, inspired in the Philippines and its culture, yung mga ganon, pwede niyang ilagay, ilagay yun, no? Okay, so next is to present behavior of the street dog when they encounter experience, experience animal abuse and neglect, see Appendix B. Ito, ang comment ko sa kanila dito, sabi ko, they put Appendix B pero wala yung Appendix B. I am, I am, uh, I'm searching for Appendix B pero wala akong nakita. Okay? So, yan. Pero, pwede, pwede naman yung ano nila. Kasi parang ang inilalagay nila dito is yung C Appendix B is the proof no, that they have researched the, uh, the behavior of the dog kapag ka, uh, na-abuse na naglak sila. So, maybe they have trauma, mga ganun-ganun. So, yon nilagay nila yon So, next is to produce film. Sabi ko, this is not a film. So, yan. Okay? Now, um, I will not going to give this this template sa inyo kasi they, uh, they, they own this. Pwede nyong balikan yung video since it is recorded. Pwede nyo balikan so that makikita nyo yung screen kung ano yung example. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Let's move on. Target users. And target users. So yung target users nyo dyan is yun nga, you're going to to specify and so would it be uh, with age group, all ages, gender specific, no? Gaganon nyo yan. So, depende kasi sa napili nyong topic yan eh. Depende sa ipoproduce nyong topic eh. So, limbawa, uh, Ano ba yung ano ba yung pang mga babae Gabriela yung ganun bawa yung uh, Gabriela na parang party list ba yan so if if that is a Gabriela party list depende sa topic nyo so limbawa karapatan ng mga babae ganun so most probably your general uh, target uh, audience would be educating female what are their rights mga ganun no so kung kung if it is uh, a coronavirus campaign against delta something ganon or against lahat ng strain so all ages so again it would depend on on the topic that you have chosen okay so madali lang naman ito okay then last is the project timeline uh -oh. di ba nag kakaps ah, nag Nagpa-project management na kayo. Tama. May project management na kayong subject ngayon. So most probably, you already have the project, uh, the gun chart, no? So, yan. Kasama yan. So ano ba itsura ng gun chart? Ito siya. Yan. So if you're going to look at this, yan. Yung project nyo would run, uh, ano ba ngayon? <coughs> Uh, let me see. Your project would run January and mag -e end din siya ng December. Okay, so that means you have one year to to plot in your gun chart. So this would start January. Okay? And then would end December. Okay? Same goes with with the other ano kasi yung yung current group ngayon so yon take note on that january to and then would end on december 20 2021 20, 2022 no so this would be january to december 2022 four weeks yeah four weeks four weeks yeah no lahat ng process na ginawa nyo. Now, in here, syempre, hindi nyo pa, you, you may say na, sir, hindi pa namin alam kung ano yung gagawin namin or what are the extra tasks that that we're going to have. Now, for now, maybe, you think of the possible tasks na, na major, major tasks na uh, you're going to do on, on the project and then you put it. Not necessarily you'll have 15 particular tasks dito, no. no? Yung major nyo. Okay, like for example, uh, the, the, the brainstorming, yung ganon. Uh, ano pa ba? Uh, script writing, kasama kasi yan, di ba? Okay, dubbing, yung mga ganon. So yung mga major. Then, then later on naman, you could, you could still have, you could still edit them. Okay? You could still edit them. Okay. So, for now, yun muna. Hanggang dito lang. Okay? So, I need two topics each. Uh, three topics each. No? Kailan ang deadline natin dito? So, September tayo ngayon. I'll give you two weeks para dito. Okay? So, in that in that two weeks, siguro naman nakapag-prepare na kayo ng tatlong topic na pwede. Okay? And then from that topic, yun yung isa-sharp natin for it to become a title proposal material. Okay? So again, uh, I'm, I'm going to repeat that this, this activity is individual. Okay? 
So, hindi nyo pa naman kailangan mag-interview dito. You're not going to create survey yet, no? Kasi proposal pa lang naman to. Tsaka, uh, this is for my eyes only. No? And then, uh, once done, uh, you're going to present this to me. No. Uh, now, take note that those modular students, uh, once I... I uh, scheduled a presentation, they have to be online also. Uh, ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung ginagawa nila that particular time, they have to present this online. So, hindi pwedeng i-record. Kasi pagka nagre-record, yung tatlong topic natatapos ng isang minuto lang, uh, nagbasa lang. So, that, that's not permitted. No? Just tell them or... or well, anyway, mapapanood naman nila itong video na to. Okay, so modular students are not allowed to do modular on that particular day, the day of the presentation. So, if that is two weeks from now, so, yan, one, two. O yan, most probably... Uh, ayan, 15. No? So, 15. Okay, that is October 15. Okay? So, you have to prepare uh, this one until October 15. So, uh, hindi ko pa alam yung time natin. Maybe mas maaga if walang klase. Kung wala kayong klase, aagahan natin ng konti yung meeting natin. Okay? And then, we're going to start presenting all of the topic. Okay, so that means if you present, you have to have your camera on and then your PowerPoint presentation. Hindi pwedeng yung kagayang presentation nung nakaraan na hukulaan, no? pinupulot yung sinasabi, hindi pwede yun. Okay? Question? Question? Answer. Clarification? Ano? Malinaw ba yung requirement natin? Apo. Uh, so, ulitin ko, no? this is not a, uh, uh, a group activity. You have to do your own. No? And make sure na ang ilalagay natin dito is those who will be answered by your by your production. No? Kasi meron ako dito, let me just have this. Ano kasing... Ah, yung kabilang group pala, yun. Okay. Pakita ko lang yung sa kabilang group. Ayan. Kasi yung sa kabilang group naman, game addiction naman sila. Okay, so just take note of this, no? Okay, kasi baka mamaya may ilagay nyo and this is a big no, no? O yan, kagaya na ito. Merong problem dun sa pagko-compose, no? Ayan. So, isang paragraph, nasa dulo yung tuldok, lahat kama. So, hindi pwede to. So, kagaya ng sinabi ko, you have to use, or at least, find a free software that would check your grammar for you and your uh, spelling, no? Kasi, hindi talaga pwede, no? Okay, so, in here, ayan, no? So, yung objective nila, ang sabi niya doon, ako, huwag na huwag kayong gagamit nito to help, no? <laughs> okay? So, to help victims of game addiction in dealing with anxiety, depression, and in some cash cases of death. Ang comment ko dito, are you sure? Are you sure that when they watch this, you could help the victim? Mawawala ba yung pagiging game addict nila? Yung anxiety nila, mawawala yung depression nila? Hindi ba sila magpapakamatay? Okay? So, you have to be careful with your objective. Okay? So, if your, if your, if your production is intended to educate, then use educate. Okay? Tapos, kagaya na ito, uh, they have to specify in their uh, target user whether, what are their target user? Are, is, uh, yung target user ba nila, yung mga already game addict or yung mga nag-start pa lang sa game o yung mga hindi pa nag-start sa game 
mga ganon. So, they have to specify also. So, depende pa rin yan sa magiging chosen topic natin. Okay? So, question. Malinaw ba? Are we clear? Sir, yung naka-highlights po kanina, yun yung gagawin namin. Ah, uh, eto. Eto, hindi muna natin to. Sige. Okay. Para hindi masyadong madami-dami. Eto lang. Yung nakakulay blue. Eto yung kailangan yung gawin. In two weeks time. And you have to provide me three topics. Okay po, sir. Thank you. Okay. Question pa. Do you have any... Sir, saan mo kuha yung ano? Yung sagan siya cart na ano? Pang reference lang. Ano, ano? Yung gancha chart, sir. Saan mo kuha yung file na pang reference lang? Ano? Ito? You mean? Ito? Ito? Ah, ito, gagawin nyo lang to. Kahit gawin nyo to sa Microsoft Excel. You you see different references on on internet. Madami yan. No? Okay? So, parang ang gagawin nyo lang dyan, ito, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, hanggang December. Tapos ipa-plot nyo lang din yung summer. Eh. Ganun lang siya. So, wala naman to actual template. No? Wala naman yan. Okay, question pa? Wala na? Wala na. Okay. So, kung wala na, uh, okay na. Uh, let's end our session today. So, uh, if there are any clarification questions, uh, you may send it at our group chat. No? Okay. So, isend nyo yun para if ever uh, your classmates do have the same question, no, masasagot ko na rin siya right there and then. Uh, hindi na hindi na pa isa isa at the same time uh, since you have to work for this uh, for two weeks so we'll be meeting uh, week six ngayon na no? seven eight week nine so week nine na tayo mag meet for this okay so for that two weeks I am expecting na prepared kayo ha Hindi pwedeng hindi kayo prepared. Baka mamaya naka-Microsoft Word pa yan. No? So, act it like you are on the proper, you, you are on the actual presentation. Okay? Clear? What? How about the others? Okay Clean na po, ba? sir. Apo. Okay. How about the others? Hindi ko narinig nagsalita yung iba. Baka nag-login lang yung mga yan. Rodilyn, Kim, Justin. Yes, sir. Okay, sige, sige. So, kung wala na, okay na, sige. Uh, may, may tanong do si Kim, sir. Uh, ano yun? Ah, wala pala. Sorry. <laughs> okay na? Wala nang tanong? Okay. So, kung wala na, sige. Uh, let's call it a day. Uh, I'll be seeing you next week in our digital imaging. Okay? Bye-bye. Good day, sir. Good day, sir.